Are flags important? Find out in today's video. Shout out to Marco Padrana, Alfredo Jr. and the Gaming Squad and all our channel members, join memberships. Welcome back Gaming with King family to another F1 Clash video. So today we're going to be talking about the importance, and flags, uh, the importance of flags uh, and what you should do if you should max out or not max out your flag count. Uh, we're going to be talking all about that today. So stick around to the end so you don't miss out on anything. Also remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications as we're closing in on 10k subs. Also remember to leave a like on this video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. All right. Uh, so flags. Flags are what you gain from each series. A lot of you guys have been asking me, uh, should you max out your flags? Should you not max out your flags? Uh, so I'm going to basically explain uh, flags. The game flags is very important in the game as the game uses your flag count uh, to give you a match. All right. So let's say uh, you're coming up uh, from the lower series uh, from series one. You've maxed out series one and you're now going over into series two. You're going to be at 20 flags right away. So the game is going to be matching you with players at an equal flag. So you can use let's say you can use a. Uh, uh, let's say 20% leeway uh, for matching so you can get a 20% person with 20% more flags or you can get a person with 20% less flags uh, if there is not a person available to match with you at your exact flag count all right so the reason why I personally like to keep my flags low I try to stay away from maxing out my flag count as you can see I've maxed out a few of my series, but a few of them are not yet maxed out. And I always try to keep my flag count low uh, in a sense that the lower your flag count is, uh, the more you're going to be matched with another player that's kind of in that flag count. All right. So to use the flag count as to your advantage uh, and to use it strategically, uh, you want to always try to keep your flag count as low as possible. Right, so right now my flag count is at 5,582. I think my max flag count is, let me check, uh, 5,627. All right, so when you search for a match, as you can see, the game takes into consideration those green flags. Uh, let me go out here and go up to those green flags. The game take into consideration those green flags, which is your season flags for the season's uh, flag count for the season. All right, you see season high uh, is 5,627. So the game takes into consideration 5,627 flags when he's trying to find me a match. All right, now if a player maxes out his flags, let's go to my friends list here. If a player maxes out his flags, let's go to friends list. All right, so here we go now at friends list. So let's say this player at the top with 6,270 flags, I am kind of below, uh, I'm kind of like, let's see, like 800 flags or 700, something, uh, something about their flags below him. Uh, so it's going to be very hard for a player like me with this amount of flags to be matched with a player on max amount of flags. flags. All right. So the only way the game is going to match me with a player that has more flags uh, is if there's no player available to be matched in that 5,000 flag, 500 flag bracket. So from 5,000 to 6,000, that's kind of the bracket that they're going to be using uh, to match or even lower. All right. So uh, for you to stay away from those top guys, those big buck spenders, as a free to play player, you want to always keep your flags to the lowest as possible. All right. You don't want to be pushing those flag count really high. So you don't get match 
uh, with a high pair. So we're going to go out now and do a match. Uh, one race out in series 12 just to see uh, what kind of player we'll be matching with and there we go as you can see we've matched with somebody with 200 flags under uh, and sometimes you match with somebody that has like that extra 200 or three four hundred flags above but most of the time the game try to keep it nice and close and keep that match fair all right it's not necessarily it does not necessarily means uh, that because mm -hmm. I have more flags that the rival is not stronger uh, but it's kind of an equal sense if I should max out my account now and I would have a max out account and then I would remain with my low amount of flags the game is going to be looking for a player with a max out account with a low amount of flags if they cannot find a player like that and they're gonna give me the best the best next player uh, with that same with at least a little more flags uh, than that here we go now for this race this rival is using some boost here still a waste of boost we <laughs> I guess he knows who we are so he's like oh it's game with King so let me put on some boost and beat this punk <laughs> all right so we're just gonna let our drivers boost out a little here and then we're going to cut down to conserve. So this is not so competitive. All right, let's keep that boost going. Since we've already boost for like one lap, we're going to boost for three laps here. And he's also keeping his boost. Leclerc not gaining any position at all. So we might as well cut down with Leclerc because he's not gaining any positions. Now he decides to gain a few. All right, so he's now in his stride. So he should pick up some more positions. As we'll keep that boost on Verstappen and do something different here uh, that the rival probably did not expect us to do. All right, and try to—I'm trying to throw him off of his technique and kind of trying to mess up his technique so he do—he does foolishness, hence giving me an advantage. All right, all right. So let's go around for a final lap. Then we're gonna just come back into hard tires, and we should be able to make those hard tires last to the end that we're gonna come back to. Nice driving here from Leclerc, picking up some position. He's in his stride. He's doing well. Let's see Verstappen. This is what I always talk about, uh, altering technique. Uh, it's good when you know how to alter your technique to kind of throw a rival off. So whenever you face a rival and he's like what he's doing now, using boost and all that, uh, you kind of have an idea uh, to throw him off. So he went back to hard tires there. So he's also looking to go for the one stop. And we went back to hard tires because we're going to be going for the one stop. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave my drivers to boost. Uh, so we can catch, catch up to his Albon when he goes to pit. And then when he comes back out of pit now, hopefully we'll be in a, a good distance up in front. Uh, that Albon Leclerc looks like he's getting stuck in the back here. So this one does not look too good for us because of that stuck on Leclerc. Oh, the rival did not go to pit with his Albon. So he's going around for another lap on that Albon. We're going to keep that boost going on our drivers. See if they can pick up any more positions. We're stopping pulling. Looking good there. We want our drivers to go and catch up to that Albon. Uh, we're struggling in the traffic here with Verstappen. He's doing pretty good trying to make his way through. Though he's on these hard tires, it's kind of difficult for your drivers to overtake on hards. This is why we kind of mostly use those hards uh, to get uh, position while rivals are in pit. All right. So, yeah, we're definitely not winning this race at all. All right. So, great race. Great race. Well done, bro. So, for those of you who claim that you've never seen us with, lost a race before well there you go you've seen us lost the race now all right so we've lost that race anyways great race there uh but yeah hopefully you guys get the drift on the flags uh why we try to keep our flag count as low so we can get uh, pretty easier matches uh, and fairer matches uh, for us, I guess. 
But yeah. It's gonna rain now. They're down already to low fuel. Verstappen up in 9, Leclerc in 11th. We can cut up to regular drive in here and there. Go around to the finish. Make back our way to the finish line. Well, good race from this player. Has that extra amount of boost, so I guess you're free to use boost. Uh, it's fair. He brought his Alonzo out of fuel as well. I <laughs> wonder why <laughs> would he run your Alonzo out of fuel. Alright, let's cut down our drivers. They're looking like they're going to run out. <laughs> they also run out of fuel. Oh my god. Our drivers run out of fuel. Crazy. Alright. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you, this one help you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.